you could argue that since the American equivalent of the uh, Tiger Moth, the same, and as you might imagine, with Americans, you get a lot more bang for your bucks. It's a big machine. Well, it's a warm welcome to Sue Gerdler, who is flying the Stearman today. And I'm very proud to have known Sue and her family from way back in the 1980s. I was privileged to work for her father-in-law, former Red Arrows pilot, Ted Girdler, who uh, had a very successful flying school. as part of the Air Cadet Flying Scholarship Scheme. I was privileged to instruct with them for over five years and two and a half thousand hours of flying. And Sue was the administrator and manager of the school. She got her pilot's license. And here she is today. I'm very proud to give a commentary on her display. The Stearman aircraft developed in the 1930s by the Boeing Aircraft Company. Yes, that's the same Boeing company that built the 747, uh, the fleet of aircraft that you've probably been on on your holidays. Boeing originally made wooden aircraft and then developed into metal airframes and as a result of government wartime contracts production was stepped up and literally thousands of these radial driven biplanes were manufactured. It's got the classic look and line of an old-fashioned biplane and if you listen to that engine classic sound of a biplane in flight. Now Sue is very proud to tell us she is an aviatrix. That's the word we use to describe lady pilots. I'm very proud of Sue we are too. And Sue is a member of a club of lady aviators who meet regularly and they have flyouts, and they're very well known for their brec what they call the breakfast run, where they get up at the crack of dawn and fly somewhere for breakfast. Look at that lovely sight of the steerman there. I have also to confess to another family connection. My father was a pilot under the Arnold scheme in 1941, when under Lend-Lease pilots were trained by the American and Canadian Air Force. And the Stearman very much came into its own as a training aeroplane for fledgling RAF and Canadian Air Force and American Air Force pilots, many of whom went on to see active service in the Second World War on various types, from fighters to bombers to coastal command, which is the command my father proudly served in until 1947. So we're enjoying the lovely vintage lines of the Boeing Stearman. That lovely open radial engine. Sue is an instrument rated twin engine pilot as well. And uh, her experience includes flying the Piper, the Piper Seneca twin aircraft. And she was saying what a fine instructor Ted Girdler was. I can certainly justify that before he uh, passed away, sadly. But uh, he's always in our thoughts, is Ted. And Sue is demonstrating her flying prowess today. This lovely, elegantly executed display in the Boeing Stearman. At the end of wartime, there were literally thousands of these aircraft surplus to requirements. They ended up in America, mainly as crop dusting aircraft with the front seat, with a tank put on the front seat. And crop dusting, thanks to modern technology, is something that we see very little of these days. <laughs> Keeping these machines rolling is really an endless task, isn't it? And it needs people who really have skills and dedication. One of the problems, Ken, is getting spare parts, of course, for these old vintage aeroplanes. There's a lovely sight. Get those cameras ready. The 
these aircraft to maintain to the highest standards by licensed and qualified aeroplane engineers. And uh, another career plug, if anybody is thinking about a career in aviation, I could certainly point you in the direction of engineering. Very worthwhile, interesting and uh, much in demand aeroplane engineers. And they spend many hours refabricating and repairing, keeping these old aircraft going to extremely high standards as laid down by the Civil Aviation Authority. There's a nice slow pass from Sue, back on the power of it. So you can see your folks, give a wave. So we're enjoying a taste of vintage biplane aviation in this wonderfully varied program we have for you today. Started, of course, by the Eurofighter Typhoon. We've seen the Canadas, we've seen the Extras Knife Edge precision aerobatic flying, and now a lovely, graceful, graceful display from Sue Girdler in the Boeing Stearman, forerunner of today's modern Boeing aircraft. Two hundred and twenty horsepower radial engine, continental engine if anybody knows their engines. This model model was built in nineteen forty. And Sue reminds me to tell you she is a grandmother. Yes. We have a flying granny here today. And we salute you. Look at that lovely holding the speed back. Very nice. Let's give her a wave, come on, as you can see the cloud line. Show your thanks and appreciation to that lovely, as I say, elegant display of flying from Flying Granny, Sue Girdler. So all you grannies out there, there's, there's some inspiration for you. Yeah, very loud. I do. So we've got one more pass from the Boeing Stearman, piloted by Sue Girdler, famously of TG Aviation, down in Kent. Still running the flying school at Lyd Airport, where Sue runs two PA 282152 Cestas for training. And uh, her daughter Natasha and Sophie help out with the running of the flying school, so they're still very active and carrying the Girdler name forward in the flying training. So we're delighted to see that Sue's flown up all the way from Kent to entertain us today at the Scottish International Air Show this afternoon. So it's the final part of one or two, so let's say a big thank you above the noise of that continental radio, radio engine. Let's show our appreciation applause for Sue Girdler and the Boeing Stearman. Give it up, give it up. That's it. Thank you. Well done, Sue. Sue will win her way back to Presswick Airport, having concluded that display. <laughs> and we've got just a little bit of a break, Ken, is that right? Do it again. It's tea break.